you've been thinking i've been thinking yeah. everyone has been thinking tunaangalia hivi tunaona eh life is changing quick I, things are shifting haraka sana eh haraka sana so mtu yeah. anakaa hivi anaangalia okay 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 could it be what you're thinking someone else is thinking una get yeah. could it be something you've thought someone else needs mm-hmm. una get yeah so at the end of the day we find ourselves at a such an interesting time in history yeah the last time kitu which we already are yeah 1918 Hey, that, time, you know, there was no technology there was more than 100 years ago hakuko na vitu mingi now you the interesting thing ni every 100 years there is a crisis true so we are on clock yeah that 100 years may come and we are the fortunate generation to be on the crisis am i in true. the crisis yeah why fortunate fortunate because <clears throat> of the opportunities that crisis bring ndio yeah but before even to undertake the opportunities the crisis bring to mm. find at a place they say it's a black swan black swan event is an event that just become an ambush you've been ambushed by this thing mm. and you can't explain it you didn't expect it and you couldn't have predicted it true yeah but you only come out you know when this thing started yeah everyone thought it's a, it's a chinese disease na tulikuwa tuna make fun tunasema by the China wako na disease wako na disease they are making they are, they, are, they are building a hospital in a week <laughs> yes yes then all of a sudden by the way Chinese wana a mask on the streets yeah na wana ka vifani yeah and you're like <laughs> how do people wear masks kwa streets hey, then, within two weeks kila mtu gava imesema lazima mwe mask social distancing yes watu wakae home fungeni ofisi and it's something which is no one ever thought at it would affect time kama yeah. tunazionanga tu kwa movies yeah, yeah so true and then we all over acting in the same movie yeah. <laughs> as an entrepreneur someone who has people <coughs> uh, as a team mm. that you're leading mm. and to come hizo what went through your mind vile ulisikia history imetokea first um i had quite a number of plans you know apart from building invask what to yeah. organize networking platforms yes so and all physical, networking physical, physical exactly yeah. like we come we have speakers but the main goal is people interacting exchanging business partnering and all that yeah and then gawai mesema no meetings and then you hotels home. closed public social places all closed and then you home And then as a team and you have an experience mm. your team they are like your babies sacrificing even one kwambia who you know you will not go come to I work tomorrow hey. relax for a period which we do not know like it was tough in as much as i deal with content mm-hmm. it's like now um this thing uh is bringing everything else down. So all the events that I had planned I put them on hold. Yeah. I actually canceled. Because initially when ilikuja Kenya in on March, March. 13th. Yeah. We thought uh, this thing will be here for two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Within Keep a month to... then we were like call it out break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Within a couple of Manage weeks it itakuwa cleared and then we are back to normal more than six months later but it took hapa so every single day has been a day of reviewing current decisions and plans and making new ones like adjusting kama kuna kitu i've learned through this pandemic is adjusting and prioritizing like kujua i work with an editorial team of eight. Mm-hmm. that is the people who work every single day You, apart mm-hmm. from magazine our blog is active every single day yeah. now most people because we distribute content at first they shied off both online and offline yes but majorly online For most people first cut off their marketing budgets especially in march and april no one was spending on anything because the future was uncertain mm-hmm. so no single revenues everyone who orders <laughs> they got a new 
excuse. And yeah. a new excuse. Oh, hey, hey, Corona imeharibu like... kila kitu. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> utangoja na hatujui tutakulipa lini. Hey. Na ukisikia and... akikwambia sijui ndio kulipa nini. Yo. It's, Until, it is what they are saying. Yeah. Una get? Na kuna kitu unaweza fanya. Hana. So, <coughs> mm, hey. Na huwezi mkimbiza juu corona ime affect kila mtu. And actually everyone who orders before corona has never paid until today. Tunangoja ishe. <laughs> Seven months later. <laughs> yes. Who so, like uh, who do I send home? Who do I retain? How do we work this out? And at the same time content consumption increased in spike yeah kila mtu wako home we are in our gadgets so many people are getting so are being sent ever. to quarantine centers hakuna mm-hmm. job huko mm-hmm. kazi ni kuka online reading and yeah. researching and doing everything it was tough but either way we managed to continue producing content i never sent in one home apart from my associate editor mm-hmm. who has been home for like two months and you see the yeah. the situation is still persisting yeah like come nothing has changed yeah but the good thing is later now in may people realized uh, or companies realized what work online we need mm. to share more content we need to be on social media you want to nafanya social media management yeah people started calling us but they have this article i want you to mm. distribute for me or yes. i have this idea or this product but i don't know what to write or the video to create about it so mkuja mm-hmm. mtusaidia so the ah, the traction ni kaanza kuingia kuendelea hivyo hivyo that is actually what prompted me last month nikasema inverse yes it's a magazine let it be a content discovery platform but then i create an agency we need to deal na all content marketing services mm. you know creating copywriting designing yeah and also unajua when it is an independent agency i can be able to give clients more platforms unajua inverse as a magazine other magazines or newspapers and blogs will feel like you know in kenya it's not like in other parts of the world ukiambia yeah. okay, watu wenye mko in the same industry but then we can partner mm-hmm. and be stronger together Yeah. They'll be like mimi nataka watu wangu wakuwe wangu mm-hmm. na wewe client wako ni wako oh, but when you have to a, si, to eh, to si but when i have an agency yenye inverse is just a product i'm able mm-hmm. to when i create some articles for clients you got no appear packages yeah and you know blogs are always looking for content we are able to distribute yes. to them Especially as calstick oh yeah so I, i started now calstick he september it is actually three weeks old oh yeah. very nice yeah and i discovered Only actually the crisis yeah because i discovered actually people are more receptive with the idea and wamekuwa kusema you know magazines are expensive and all that so ni kasema let me create some packages that they can work unajua kenyans whether co- corporates or direct consumers wanataka kuona bei kwanza <laughs> no one decide but you can be make an inquiry but see na end so that they see oh yeah. okay wana well, wana by the way, i can be able to do some content uh, marketing services na 6k na kuna ingine ya 20k mm-hmm. na kuna customized yes but akai we say by the way, since they have these packages na zaina na budget yangu sababu wana wana i online okay. but ukiacha okay. open most especially small businesses yeah. SMEs, startups they shy away nasema by the way yeah these people who are not saying their prices lazima wakue ni expensive so wanasema so wana yeah. wana build a perception a build a perception exactly okay. wana wana until time tutakuwa na budget kubwa ya marketing tutawaongelesha so i had to come up with my own innovative way in a way that nice. nime ni offer some direct products yenye mtu anaweza nunua no strings attached kwa unakuja unatuambia i want this this and this in the bay tunakutengenezea within four days wewe unachukua unaenda mm-hmm. yeah but la yeah but la kitambo where you we required you to commit three months four months one year yeah. yeah so unapata the pandemic also opened mm-hmm. our minds yeah. and we became innovative in terms of pricing um, and also taking advantage of it kwambia watu by the way <coughs> 
what when uh, customers are going are asking questions on Google. Mm -hmm. Customers are asking questions on Instagram. Customers are asking questions on on Facebook. You know your e manana ya content customer anaweza kuwa hata hayuko interested na kampuni yako ama your services. Mm. Ana tafuta to survive yeah. pia. Yeah. <coughs> exactly. Ana think self preservation. Exactly. Who unapata if you have some educative content on your website like kama blog they really help you customers ask questions like let's say you are in the healthcare yeah kuna mtu anataka kujua um, the common one losing weight mm -hmm. or they want to improve on their diet they want to know itakuwa ni kikula nini asubuhi or they are they want to take a holiday during this pandemic you listen which are the safe places to visit in kenya mm -hmm. which hotels have been open so no but they are just searching their own things Wenyewe. Wenyewe, they didn't even have you in mind. Then waki search Google, wanajipata kwa website yako. Ah, yeah. I so unapata content when that is how it works. Yeah, in a side idea you get discovered. But sasa unapata kitambo most Kenyan companies are like tunauza. This is what you are selling, this is the fine. price. Eh. Mm. Every time is selling, selling, selling. And you are a Kenyan, Because you have yes. an experience. Wa Kenya ukiwaambia yeah. unamuzia kitu huwa anatoroka na ana shut down. Yeah, kabisa. So wanataka you educate them and then you change their mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so true. So hiyo ndo kitu I've discovered most companies have been able to learn yeah. na wana engage in that is now in the industry that I'm in. So the central bank governor alisema mm. by the time tunaingia July 75% of the SMEs records may vanish. July, yeah. say that could July. July is Peter. September 2 months eh. later. Eh, tunaenda eh. October bana. Mm. Ah. Then job losses mm. by then before July mm. it's about 5 million. Say to go to to double, to cut 10 million mm. jobs And lost. Na hao ni wenye wanajulikana. Hao ni wale wako kwa kitabu. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Eh, so yeah. ni formal. Mm. Wenye informal ndo wanakuanga wengi. Eh, hey, so mm. informal if the formal wako 10 million by now, mm. then the informal ni at least mm. three times. Yeah. Yeah. Tuseme around 15 million Kenyans. Yeah. Probably 15 million yeah. Kenyan wame wameacha job. So many companies wamefunga. And the sad thing is chenye most people are not talking about is yeah. wase wenye wame lose job during this pandemic those jobs are not coming back asimeisha asimeisha kabisa if a company exist? died yeah. it is not resurrecting at una ngoja boss wako aseme nimefungua kampuni tena rudini eh yeah. hata hata akifungua tena hamwezi rudi nyinyi wote ikizima stima imezima eh yeah. yeah. and This pandemic so, has so what's your, changed so what's, many things. What do you see from that statement? Mm -hmm. Alafu, think of it that SMEs make 75% of jobs in in our economy. In our economy. What so, do you see when that is said? One, many? it is a sad reality. And to make it is actually much worse about Kitambo a study of up to 2016 400 SMEs were dying every year yeah mm. okay mimi huwa nasema some commit suicide yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you are an entrepreneur you know some yeah. mistakes to na make knowingly yes, that lead yes. to the death of our businesses so mm. unapata um, when these companies die people lose jobs some things happen eh? one um, people lose hope when i get into depression like maybe this is someone who just got that job like i have a friend alipata job ya kuuza shamba you know real estate sales people yeah and that was feb less than a month later huyo mtu hata hajauza plot moja hata ajaanza wakaambwa nyinyi sasa and then home tutawaita one day yeah one day ni lini <laughs> Even to 20 2070 there will be one day. <laughs> <laughs> so this person uh, maybe jewelry pata salary ya feb alikuwa ame move out maybe alikuwa anaishi home 
amerent out commit ma vitu ameanza kujitegemea halfway everything is shut some do landlord ndo huyo mtu anaenda api juu sieti ni kama kitambo unasema turudini yocha pia yocha kuna covid pia yocha kuna a contraction of the economy na yocha zina survive purely based on majo black man tax yeah as a black man without a doubt you have dependencies mm. uh, you know, um, i wish the conversation we were having it back then because um on since march till now yeah some of the decisions and what to want make like for example you have your business has died whether or not you had some savings it is a time to rethink yes business as a whole una unaangalia the realities that have come uh, definitely new operating models have to be reinvented mm-hmm. sio kama kitambo so you have to business yourself, models likufa yes. yeah now we have to rethink yes. business models new ones are fresh. which are adaptive yes ju kama sayo unasikia gava imefunga bus mm-hmm. ulipata kenya breweries walisema you can actually take alcohol with you at home they pack with you but they are crate wana kuyakea carton wewe mm. unaacha to deposit mm. ukirudisha hizi chupa unachukua deposit yako yeah. so the same thing with every other business kuna pole pole yeah unaangalia what can we be able to do our services what can we be able to reinvent or like vile nilikuwa nakwambia we discovered uh, you know content although content business really opened up during the covid Yes, the consumption yeah. sasa kuna consumption time. Yeah. So let me take for example the people who are in the hotel industry. Most of them waliambiwa now you have to offer takeaways alone. Mm-hmm. Um if I was in the hotel industry, I would have partnered with what to come Glovo. Um this other um, right the healing up Litro yeah. up. Yeah. Litro the safe border when you want to deliver because even for them they didn't have so many customers because people are not commuting people are not doing things mm-hmm. so instead of delivering by myself i can rely on your partner let's say glovo mm-hmm. glovo has thousands of clients so i can just leverage to share profits and at least in as much as i may not be able to pay my staff 100% nilipe kidogo kidogo because if you have a hotel and then hotel is imefunguliwa tena your employees can't wait for three months bila mshahara wa kingoja ifunguliwe because they have to eat yeah like yeah. now if if uh, if hotel ina fuck fungua fuck fungua ina funga mapema si ndio ni wote inafunga 8 na kitambo ilikuwa 7 so yangu ni kumaanisha ukipiga ukipiga breakfast ukipiga lunch washeni vitu muende yeah hakuna sapa eh Mm. So you even half on yeah. in terms of demand. Mm. So not not even demand even the space uh, ulikuwa unapata space like this ingeka watu wanne. Yes, Restaurant yes, lazima yes, yes. wawili and the other table is much Pia far. capacity yeah. So you must find ways in which whether you will look for people to partner with or if you are in the service industry you can now reinvent the wheel like you yeah. start teaching your customers in preparation for the opening. So we kutana na quite a number of entrepreneurs eh? yeah. in different spaces in different areas when you ulikuwa unajua mm. they meant well they were working hard they were creating employment but now all of a sudden iki to come so what are some of the things zenye umeona as patterns that are happening mm. in an entrepreneur or in multiple entrepreneurs lives mm. that that you think is interesting that we can highlight and address as well so one interesting thing eh? um three friends two in real estate one is in advertising and marketing mm-hmm. the guy in advertising and marketing alifunga office moja akabaki na ya printing which was really sad because he had to send employees home the other guy in real estate kwanza alifunga kidogo uh, mm-hmm. to just watch out But one thing uh, ukiangalia people in real estate watu wenye huo wananunua mashamba most of them are not just common mwananchi 
So mm-hmm. in as much as their incomes were, were affected, not as much like the people who are low class. Mm-hmm. So when one closed, the other guy who is a friend of mine, he went the online. Guy. Yes. He started doing lots of content. I usually see articles every single day. He started doing, uh, you know, in as much as to na create and to publish content, mm. lazima to distribute and promote it. So I started seeing, uh, they invested a lot in marketing. They started investing in um, in Google Ads. You know, Google AdWords, you see AdWords and everything. So their, their AdWords started popping up online. Mm-hmm. Then they have billboards. I've known them for five years. Actual billboards. Yes, actual billboards. I've never seen them having billboards. But every road that I've, every highway in Yanibepiti and Nairobi, they have a billboard or two. Sahi. Sahi. And then we make, make uh, adverts on radio and TV. So one thing I asked this guy, why are you doing this while other people are no. cutting off budgets? Yeah, well. Akaniambia, this is it. Everyone has cut off their budgets. That means the products which are being promoted in the market are very few or even none. Mm-hmm. So if we pull ourselves forward and that create uh, confidence with our clients, and they will trust out. us. Yes, we will stand out. And definitely, the, 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 the options in the market are very few. So for them, they have actually their incomes have been consistent. So is that a short-term yes. strategy or a long-term strategy? I, 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 I'm not able to tell whether it's a long-term or short-term. But in my, viewpoint, in my viewpoint, it could be both. Because you see, again, marketing is consistent. Yeah. Yeah. And then if it's working for them, because definitely it's working, he told me it's working, it's something they're going to do again and again and again. What do you think yeah. is the danger of Mtu Kuzima steam, Kabisa, March, oh, even you Kunaenda, shut down, cancel your lease, send everyone home, and wait for this unknown uh, circumstance? When you do this, you can lose hope. And in this life, without hope, you die mm-hmm. because it is hope that keeps us going so um umeona vitu zime change umesema let me go home and wait so when you're at home you're only you're continuing worrying about loss of revenues and when you're worrying about loss of revenues and being anxious mm-hmm. um kitambo we were so anxious tunasema uhuru atafungua mipaka Hey, next month days, 21 days yes unafanya anaongeza zingine anaongeza zingine anaongeza zingine 21 days hey. so even the stress levels continue to increase and what happens is you even stop learning and you even stop being innovative it's like i would say if you shut you down everything growing. you just die by the way i just call it death because anything that doesn't shut, grow dies yes yeah. so it is really dangerous i think when something like this happened ni mali tu una like you yeah. sit down and rethink. It is actually even a, an opportunity to review your strategy. If you didn't have like a long-term strategy, you make one which is easily adaptive. Mm. Yeah. Because adaptability is without a doubt. It's, it's really key. At this time. At this time, it's really key. It's, it's key. Yeah. Everything is changing so fast. Yeah. You must keep thinking and watching out. Yeah, you, you look at uh, what are the um, technological changes which are coming, how will it affect the way customers think? Mm-hmm. And when the way customers think change, it changes their behavior. What will that mean for my products and services? Yeah. How can I change with them and sing their tune, speak yes. their language, so that they can be able to understand my products better and when they understand my products better, they will understand how my products will change their lifestyle, meet their needs, and they will end up buying from me. What is that that made you not to switch off your lights? One, um, <coughs> I'm afraid of death. Kuzimika. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kuzimika. Yeah. Uh, and my, my, my biggest strength has been hope. Plus, um, I'm a very strong believer of a better world. Like, kutoka nikiwa mdogo, I told myself, um, my gifting from God is inspiration. 
So how can I inspire people not to lose their hope, hope. and faith? That is actually how I started in VASC back when I was in campus. Nikasema, if I go to fight for these jobs in the society, there are very few. Mm -hmm. How about I help people build jobs? So if today we stop building in VASC, we stop publishing the magazine, Kunawatu, they rely on our magazine to learn how they can build their businesses. And or even cope. Yes, yeah. and cope with the situations, ch ch challenge themselves, solve, solve problems in their businesses. And that means their source of education and learning in Mezimika. Mm -hmm. uh, there's people who rely on the events that we do. We may not be able to do events today, but we have so many lined up next year. If we do not do them, Kunawatu who wanna meet investors in our events. So they will not be able to meet those investors because we partners. facilitate, yes. Mm -hmm. And business partners, they meet future employees also in the in the events. That means we will shortchange so many dreams. When this world will end, Nikifika kwa God, Nita Mwambia Nini. So if today I, 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 I'm one person who believes um, every idea that I have comes from God. Mm -hmm. So the moment I give up on it, the moment ni mesema wacha nitulie and I see how things are unfolding. Will I have failed myself or God? True. So I yeah. God. Kabisa. Yes. Mimi nasemanga everything I have, everything about me comes from God. Na mwana utaki kukufa. Because why is death a thing? The, the, the reason I'm, I'm I'm still alive today is because God still believes there is a change that I have a, a purpose and a change that I have to f effect on this earth. Very true. Yes, and until I have fulfilled it, hawezi ni chukua. So um, I have to be busy doing the right work with the right people. Vile God and attack. Very important. Yeah. Let's talk about purpose. Eh? Yes. Is purpose doable without a budget? Because now, mm. the new excuse of not fulfilling purpose is in a kakitu. Yeah. How do you disassociate purpose with budget? One, um, leo ni kikuja ni kuambie ni kona shamba. Na nataka kukupea kazi ya kulima. Like, I've given you mahali kwa kuishi na nataka ulime za kulima hiyo shamba maybe utakuja na jembe yako but you will need seeds if irrigation is needed you will need water and all those things shamba ni yangu sio yako mm -hmm. so wewe utaenda kutafuta maji and all those things it is for me to provide and that is how god works as the owner of the land exactly so god owns us he gives us things to do on earth. Majembe and all these other things are our talents. So I'm, I'm a strong believer that our God-given talents and abilities, which is abilities is things that we learn how to do, are always in line with our, with our, with our purpose. Mm -hmm. I'll give a good example. You see Moses, when he was with the Israelites, God used to ask him, what is in your hand? Nikona kamti. Gonga hiyo jiwe. Ikatoka maji. The other day, akangusha chini, a big snake swallowed the others. The other day, a very big sea. Kayangusha. Eh, katengeneza njia. So, um, when we have a compelling that there is something God wants us to do, we need to first look at within ourselves and ask ourselves, what, what is in my hand? Mm -hmm. My hand does not literally mean he mikono hivi. It could be talents, it could be knowledge. In your possession. In, in my possession. And then the problem with us as humans is we trust ourselves so much, we love doing things in our own heads. We plan to execute in our heads. Mm -hmm. But kama kuna kitu ni melan, is everything that comes to my mind, I put it down. Mm -hmm. Then I start solving things. Life. Life. Like I can see 
and be able to compute everything. Yeah. And I can be able to build up on them. Because uh, let's say, I usually say my purpose through Invask, which is one of the avenues, is to create at least 1 million jobs in every African country. There is 540 million jobs plus the entrepreneurs who started. Mm -hmm. So it's 540 million plus 54 million of the job creators. Nice. Looking at it, it's a very big thing. But to me, it's very doable. It is. One day, one mi minute, kitoko kidogo. Yes. So the question is, what is that literal resource that I have that I can start using? Back then, Nikiwa Campus, um, University of Nairobi, I had a laptop. My university had given us free Wi-Fi. I learned how to build a website. Mwanyewe tu. Mwanyewe tu. I borrowed some 3K. Nika register domain. Na hosting for one year. And I started building the website. Like I could learn on YouTube as I implement. Mm -hmm. Nice. And it worked. Then I talked with people who knew how to write and contributors. Siku easy, contributors find us, tell us. I'm an expert in customer service and I would love to share some thoughts. Um, like a guy called me the other day, he told me, you know, innovation is changing so many things and it's, um, you know, jobs are being lost and everything. How can companies innovate in a sustainable way? And he told me he wants to write that article since he has been in, you know, innovating since for the last 35 years. Nice. Yeah. So, Gordon Angalianga, what have you done with what you have? Because if I've not done with something, if I've not done something with what I have, God cannot trust me with more. You know, we are custodians. Yeah. Whoever, if you do something with what you have, God gives you more. So what do we tell this guy who's mm. saying, who's looking at it the wrong way? Mm. And I from resource being, mm. it's a limited perspective of resource because resource mm. is beyond mm. cash, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Skill is resource, yeah. network is resource, yes. environment is resource, and on and on. Mm -hmm. Energy itself is resource. Yeah. So, what do you tell someone who's, who's saying, mm -hmm. I've lost my job anyway, mm -hmm. I get. Yeah. And it's true, yeah. what they're saying is a truth, yeah. but it's not a limitation. That's true. So, how do you tell this guy who's sitting like this and saying, mm -hmm. Unless I'm called again to a new job, then I'm doomed. Starting from where you've ended it, unless you're called again, who will call you? Hatuwezi patata na wea hapa nje, ama hapa kwa mall, niangalia ni sebe by the way, SK ya nakakama anataka job. Ama kwa hao, kitaki wall. Juhu mekuwa kwa hao, lalo. Ama ni kupate online WhatsApp, niangalia by the way, humse ya nakakama job. Ni muitie, no, it does not work like that. So you can just start the basic things. Look at your CV, update it. That is number one thing. LinkedIn is very good for searching for jobs. Update it very well. Kabisa, Kabisa free, free things. Data siku hizi ata safari kwa msazi ngini uwa napata wanatupea. Ama there is free Wi-Fi in so many places. Yeah. Go there, sit down, create a very nice LinkedIn. Take a very good photo. Ata kama you wezi ya Ford Studio. Take a very good photo with your phone. Work a pile of profile. Write a very good this, uh, bio, yeah, Apple, LinkedIn, and say actively looking for a job in. Sababu where is ama natafuta job? Gani? Ni kama kuenda pale stage you say nataka kuenda. Kila mati ni na pita pale stage kuna kwa ni naenda. No lazima useme. So you, you have to say actively looking for a job in this specific field, then here are my strengths. Mm -hmm. The problem with most people are not going to be able to do this. What have you done so far? What skills have you, uh, 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 have you developed developed during the process? What results have you helped accomplish in different organizations that you have worked in or volunteered? Value. Value, yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, here on LinkedIn, 
follow the people who create jobs. CEOs, MDs, HR professionals. Then you can reach out to them. And it's sorry, bad it phone. is free. Maybe by the way, I'm this, this, and this. Could you be having an opposition for this? Where can I send my CV? CV. To my his or CVs. Build relationship with these people. His of it is sorry. On Facebook, what do you want to post? You want to post? You want to post? Consistently. Yeah. You want to post? It is good to post funny things and everything. But do not let them appear on your timeline. If you want to entertain people, entertain them. And then delete. Ama you hide from your timeline. Sababu na onanga, timeline ya Facebook is your CV. If I'm not your friend on Facebook, I won't see your posts on the news feed. So if I want to, kama nataka kukujua, I will click on your name and come to your timeline. Mm-hmm. What I will see there will is determine <laughs> whether or not I will engage, engage with you. Ezekiel Mutua, uh, CEO wa KFCB, alikuwa nasema juzi, mm-hmm. he wanted to promote another guy with 50,000. But alienda, this guy had to meet jina yake, had to meet profile picture yake, na na post vitu zingine hata hazieleweki kasa maio pesa hata mtumi hizi vitu ni free like you just decide to profile zangu zote ni clean zinaongea kunihusu mm. post chenye tu nataka ku post but retain sensible things mm. like onyesha watu wewe ni mtu wa maana and then reach out to people yeah. mtu hata kaa hivyo waseme by the way huyu anakaa ku, kunini kutafuta job ana wanasema ngapi yeah. enda kama twitter kuna some hashtag inaitangwa iko kazi click on it look for the jobs ama uende telegram there is so many jobs channels like kama hauna job na unataka job and is that eh if you don't have a job and you're looking for a job that is your work looking for a job a job is not exist yeah. yeah that is why nilikuwa nasema pale kwa linkedin your position should be actively looking for a job but my youth wengi utapata ceo wa uh, Upstreet Entertainment. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is what most youth on their profile in Akuanga. So kama wewe ni CEO mbona nikupatie job? By the way. Hapo unapata ameandika entrepreneur which is good. Oh, entrepreneur is a mindset. Eh hey, but wewe uko sawa. Andika pale looking Sema vile unasema. And, andika you are in Kenya looking for a job in Kenya. Mtu akikuja anafaa kujua by the way huu ni mtu aina gani? How can we engage? Si Ezekiel millionaire. Uh, <laughs> Mimi nitakuja kukuomba loan. Yeye ni na, yeye ni lazima even entrepreneurs lazima we position ourselves in line ya opportunities. Tulikuwa tunaongea na best fulani juzi na mwambia. Even as business people or even the people who do sales and marketing. We always want call away. Unajua kuna client fulani unapaa kutumia quotation but hujatuma. Mm-hmm. Kuna client unafaa ku email. You yeah. didn't email. There's a client who told you to call him on Tuesday. You didn't call. Like I was telling her that today if all entrepreneurs just sit and look at all the things Back they have on. not done, <laughs> yes. And then they put them on their to-do list. They can be sorted for the next one year. Clients wamejazana hapo. But, but your work is complaining in front of you. Eh. Hey, but the problem with Kenyans Saizi and uh, Facebook. So you know Facebook is allowing us to sell things online Facebook shops or Instagram shops. Make an inquiry. Alafu mm-hmm. unyamaze. That person will never get back to you. Ah. Eh, hey, wewe mtu anauza kiatu, wewe muuliza hii kiatu ni bei, ni pesa ngapi? Anakuambia, can you deliver? Ananyamaza. Hata usimuulize can you deliver just ask for the price and then akikwambia price akikwambia price ujamaze you know you are selling ask that client kama anaitaka mbona mm. alikuwa anauliza price yeah, you know this is a lead a lead you have yeah. to convert mm unamwambia tukona hii by the way tukona these different colors which one would you love can i have your number can i call you mm? yeah unataka to deliver wapi but Kenyans do not follow. So umeongea about mtu anatafuta jobs, ndio? Yeah. Na umei explain perfectly. Thank you. Tuangalie huyu mwingine mwenye. Labda atafuta job but anatafuta hustle. 
Mm. Uh, na usha ingia, umeingia mm. into that element of a merchant. Yeah. Uh, Roger Squeezy, getting especially on selling stuff, eh? it's very easy. And I'm, I'm actually excited that mayudhu wengi wanafanya hivyo, wanauza nguo online, mm-hmm. and all those kind of things. Kuna kitu, I've been telling people about becoming an internet, internet middleman. In the next five years, internet middlemen will be millionaires. We hauna biz. Na hauna product. Hakuna pro, hauna product, but uko Facebook, uko WhatsApp. I'm sure, umoe kuwa na besti, let's say we are the three of us, me, you, and the cameraman. The cameraman is looking for something, anataka kubai but unajua mimi nauza. Mm-hmm. Then unajiambia, but this is your mimi sina your product. Una kanyangia hiyo story. While you can be a middleman, unanijua you know I'm selling and you know somebody who is buying. Just come to me and tell me by the way Kimani, I have this client who is looking for this. How much are you selling and what commission are you offering? Mm-hmm. Cuz I have a client for you. Yeah, you have a client for me, I should pay you. And you, then you connect us. Yeah. Yeah. You connect us, you get your commission. Nani yeah. hivo? It's true. In so, class we teach something about mm-hmm. making money with money and making money without money. Yeah. And your element here agency. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you just connect people who need things to people who need them. Mm-hmm. And some good clients are monthly. If you connect um let me give an example. I'm trying to look for an example of monthly products. Let's say even a house, a tenant. Mm-hmm. You are not an agent, but you know somebody who is looking for a house, a good house, maybe an atafuta karen, rent ni 200k. Ume mtafuti ya tenant. Yo tenant ame sign contract ya two years. Unapawa commission ya 5%. That is 10k every month for two years. Mm-hmm. The only thing you did residual. was... The only, eh, the only thing you did was ulingia, ukafungulia data, ukapata mtu anataka kitu, ukawa connect. Mshikanisha. Eh, I will connect that. this to the internet now. Mm. How do you how do you encourage these 15 million people in your Melus jobs? Mm. How do you show them mm. their stick mm. that is on their hand? Mm. You recognize my gadget. So the first thing, Nikujuliza, eh? what am I good at? Maybe you are good at networking. Like you can, you're very good at, uh, you know, convincing people, people who are good in networking are also good in, is cool, yeah. in, in, in negotiations and everything. So you can help people negotiate things at a fee. Maybe you are good in doing research. You can help people do research. You just tell people on your Facebook, but I could share that meme. One day tell people I do research or you are good. You, you know how to manage Facebook. You can tell clients, you know some clients may not afford agencies like Calstick, but they may be able to have a small fee for, for you. Mm-hmm. Engage them. As you look for a job, unapata something on this other side. Or you you are good at selling. Or you love fashion. That shop mahali, kwenye wu unabaye viatu, or a suit, or whatever, go and tell them I have a good following. Mm-hmm. You negotiate with them. And by the way, on wholesale, you can use how much. Kama ni suti ya 15k ya na kumbenta kuzia 10. But how nunui? Mm-hmm. Na wambia, na chukua picha, and then I post them online. When a client buys, I use the client's money to come and buy. And I take my, the suit, yeah. and then I keep my 5k. Very simple. Yeah. That is one thing they can do. Then the other thing is, um, there are so many free courses. It's easy. And especially during the pandemic, uh, platforms and who was in our uh, courses like Coursera, they are giving free courses, even the ones that were used to be paid. Yes. Enroll and enhance your skills. Get busy. Attend classes every day, and then that builds up also on your CV and encourages. You now, when you're going to look for for a job three months later, you have an added skill. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about mental health mm. for an entrepreneur. Yeah. Entrepreneurs one of when an entrepreneur decided mm. to shut down Akazima Stima, mm. into a new spiral. 
and this spiral become a, 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 a very anxious state. So that anxiety brought that element of mild depression and slowly by slowly into a whole mental health situation. So there are many entrepreneurs currently, especially creative entrepreneurs, yeah. in the arts, in the music, in whatever it is that they are doing. Yeah. How do you, as an entrepreneur, relate with that? And how do you reverse them back to a place of soundness of mind that one is a sasasemon journey? Okay. I'm done with this dying thing. Yeah. It's about time mm. ni shake myself yeah. and hands I could could arrange then. One thing about depression, anxiety and stress. Panic attacks. Mm. Until when it's very severe. I was depressed for 19 months. At that time I was going to class hapa. No, kitambo. Yeah. At that time I was going to class hapa 2018 I was still depressed but I didn't know. So one of the ways if you want to know if you are depressed is you are very reluctant. Passive. Oh, yes, very passive on so many things that you do not know. You are sleeping more than is required and you are always tired. Na wewe haujui. And the problem with depression I don't know why most of the time it affects strong people musicians yes. entrepreneurs express preachers people. yeah you know this kind of people we see them as strong and we put it in their minds it is very hard for a pastor akuja church sunday by there waambie depressed mimi si yuko poa how is he that is why i can't remember the name of this guy he is a preacher he used to talk about mental health and against suicide but he took his own life and alikuwa anatutoa yeah alikuwa anasema msinjinyonge by the way na yeye akajinyonga akaona ni kasi ya mbaya i'm not supposed to laugh <laughs> but it's somehow funny kaani ka bila wasaa ni kasi ya mbaya so actually one thing i learned unaona when you go and see people who are talking about mental health sana most of them are depressed so una sema kwanza una feel yeah. kudos kudos you are very passive you are not bumpy like as you used to, to be as and then, lazy lazy yes unashinda ukisema nitafanya hii next time tazama yes procrastinating not really procrastination ojo i usually say procrastination is good in a way that you know procrastination ni kusema but i was supposed to do this project leo i will do it tomorrow at 5 i'll do it yes mm. Reluctance and being passive unaka kwa comp you came probably to write an invoice to a client an invoice unajua ni do unafaa kuitisha you stay at your comp for five hours ukiulizwa nini ulikuwa unafanya haujui uli zombie yeah but you are just doing some things which you do not understand time passed and you're tired you just want to eat and sleep no, no, yeah. Yeah. But, and uh, most people are at, at that place that is where you find people on some by the way and you work from home yes i've been working even at offices it used to happen like that i've been working but i can't see what i'm working on nilika chini ku sort some data but i didn't sort it Three hours later time you kwenda home imefika umekuwa kwa office yes umesikia njaa you get distracted easily those kind of things that you are not able to focus that one kills now the problem with these strong people as i've called them is we don't want to show our weaknesses that is where we go wrong like nikikuja nikwambia by the sk maneno ni mbaya mimi sijielewi siko poa siko poa i'm suffering from anxiety or i'm depressed over a b c d we don't want to come out because we are strong and the society is depending on us so the first things first accept jikubali tu uko na shida na utajuaje labda unaona tu nimehema nimehema bana so utaangalia hizo signs zenye nimesema unalala sana you are not doing the things you are supposed to do you are isolating yourself from people unataka tu kujiweka peke yako 
vitu uh, mingi hazidi you know you lose meaning in so many things unajua by the way kuna shida if you notice your life has changed you are sleeping more or you are not sleeping oh eh pia kuna kutoa eh unaweza kuwa tu wewe uko uko macho usiku mzima nini eh unajua a friend of mine juzi alikuwa ananiambia he has not slept for 60 hours kwa by the way uko na kashida hajafunga macho hajafunga na haisi usingizi na ni nini na you conscious a conscious so your anxiety is yes. lala yes that anxiety makes you not sleep and everything and you can't know you are suf- you are suffering is to yes. eat time to your covid juzi less than a month ago ala i told him you need to see a doctor so who will do aje so i did four things number one, vile nilikuwa nasema acceptance it was mtu alikuchanua ama ulijua uko poa no nilishindwa what is the problem with me by then asking anger depression sinifanya test i did 12 online tests zote zilisema oh, test za online yeah but no online test lazima ufanye mob Duk. so that you can get genuine results yes yeah. all of them zilisema severe depression severe Zilisema, what So you know Lisa different questions about your habits about your life how you've been living and everything so we'll, they will ask about sleeping patterns being tired and those kind of things unaenda tu online on such depression test kind of what what do i do as i my must walk out of this nikajiambia i have a problem because anytime you want to solve a problem you must agree Niko kwa shida. I am in a hole and I have to get out of it. Mm-hmm. Nika pray God, nikamwambia by the way, I know there are some things I've not done right. Please nisamehe. So first thing I went to God and I asked him forgive me of any wrong doing that I know and that I do not know including for being lazy and make me a lot. Mm-hmm. Number two, nikajisamehe mimi mwenyewe. You know I've not been working on my goals I've been reluctant on so many things and all that Then number three, what I did is I reconnected with people mm, Because when you're depressed isolate. yes when you're depressed you isolate yourself without knowing Takatu kwenda home Yeah You don't love being with people and everything I started now reconnecting with people and asking for help But by the way I'm depressed I talked with three pastors. Naki kwambia wewe mse uko depressed. No, they admitted because okay, the pastors who came out to help is they were willing first because they were depressed before. Yeah. The best person to help you apart from psychologist is somebody who has been depressed before because they have been there. They know how to work out. So three of them worked out with me. And then number four is now new life. You know, reconnecting myself with my goals, new habits, becoming more alert and more aware such that if I notice a depressing sign, I will be able to overcome it. Yeah. So those four things really helped me. But it is not a one day thing. It's not villainous. Asema by the way hii kahawa sitarudi kukunywa kahawa. Acha ikae depression is not like that you know unlike the problem with the society is we do not we are not yet we do not agree that depression anxiety is a sickness like any other when somebody tells you they are stressed most likely tamwambia why they nini na kustress wete kufikiria sana wacha mbazi when you are depressed utasema upate mtu wako na malaria ama asthma ama kansa or any other disease unaweza ndio umwambie hivi mbona unajipea kansa mimi mm. maneno yako acha <laughs> <laughs> lenga yeah, story lenga story but ukipata hata kama ni homa the first thing unamwambia pole and then you start recommending solutions what we also need to understand as a society is depression anxiety and all these things are real diseases when i'm sick when i'm sick like for real that is why unapatanga there is even some antidepressants 
unapata medication and all those things so it is real sickness so mimi naambia ngawa tu if somebody tells you they are stressed somebody tells you they are depressed don't rush kuambia ati unaji depress or sijui nini first understand them first um we need to learn how to deal with people who are depressed you know make them first trust you create a safe haven with them so that they can be able to open up with you and now you can offer constructive mm-hmm. uh, ways in which they can overcome the things that are depressing them because you the more you tell somebody at the energy depress the more you are depressing them anazama even far kabisa oh uno uno mtoa shallow end una murusha deep end una muua and that is how people end up suicide yes yeah. so lazima tukubali tuko na shida and we must seek help and most importantly mungu lazima akwe hapo mm. yeah. at the moment kuna wasengi sana wako depressed especially creatives unajua msanii alikuwa anapiga show yeah show zilibani wa show ziliisha eh yeah. hasla alikuwa anatoka home anaenda town na kabag mm. anafanya whatever na uza t-shirt na fanya sasa hivi unaenda wapi? Sasa hivi unakaribia mtu anapota. Eh. Hey. So watu wengi sana wako kwa kwa hiyo state. But the state is so prevalent. Eh? There are so many people in that state. The question is nani atasaidia nani? Hata pasi pia yeye ampiga depression. You get? Yeah. So pia pia life itself has shifted on him ana kaivi tsaba na ngadi ana shanga ni washirika ntasaidia ama ndajisaidia ama ndatafuta help so now we are finding ourselves at that place the question is 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 it possible to have someone get a self diagnosis anaweza jself anaweza jitoa it is hard unajua tuseme hii room ni shimo hakuna mlango nafaa kutoka mm. na huku hakuna jembe or anything It's, hakuna ngazi ni shimo tu mm-hmm. utajitoaje angalia hii wall kwa shika nini utashika mm. nini lazima ushout sema wana mm. una shout hii kwa hiyo hiyo shimo ingine sasa in as much as watu wengi wako kwa shimo kuna wengine hawako kwa shimo kama mimi i don't know if you are so sicko depressed we must Yet. be our own unaiona anyway just so lazima like we be our friends keeper our sisters our brothers keeper kata basi call the umali muulize by the ref if this my friends know nauliza nga mtu by the way kwa aji ambe niko poa. Namuuliza uko sure uko poa ama umeniambia uko poa juu. Hivyo ndo hivyo ndo vile watu tunasema. Eh. Like when you even ukijulia tu mtu hali. Ko father and ask them by the hiyo unaniambia ni ukweli ama it's just because that's not what you want to say. Kuna kashida unapitia like tunaweza solve. Na sasa akikufungulia roho ule ni at least mtakuwa wili mtaweza kutafuta solution to the next person it is much easier sisi wawili tukijua tuko na shida na tunatafuta solution ju let's say ni wewe uko na shida ama ni mimi niko na shida and one of us came to help the other one since nimelikuwa i'm willing to help you you have a challenge you na pitia siwezi solve na tuwezi solve wawili i should not stop there i should go to the next person that i know who can help and you may not even know person in real life like mna juana sikuizi kuna social media enda pale nje bonga by the way mimi niko na shida this guy i didn't want to mention but uliona alvan i tango mm-hmm. alvan yeah, alisema by the way mimi niko na shida <coughs> siko poa siko poa i need your help and the good thing with kenyans when it comes to help they help willingly they don't kia wewe ni wa wapi ama ni wa wapi mm-hmm. they don't care your tribe where you come from your political affiliation and everything yeah 
speak out sema by the nikona shida a b c d hakuwezi kosa mtu mmoja tu atasikiza yeah so mtu asingamaze hakuna haja ya kunyamaza because the more you keep quiet the more you die if you die all of us will suffer mm. because you do not our purpose interconnected yeah yeah if one of us goes sipo kweli yeah let's finalize before to introduce mm. to finalize now speaking to africa speaking to this young african they say africa is rising eh? yeah and now you're looking at this young africa and this young africa is caught up in such a circumstance when i get mm-hmm. everyone is just looking at it and we were all hoping that someone from the other side of the world will throw us the rope what to do kwashimo then i realize ah pia nyim kona shimo yenyu tuache kuwa wachoyo like mm-hmm. let's stop being greedy and partner with each other look for solutions together because siku hizi kila mtu anataka kuomoka kivi yake haiwezekani because um the solution you are looking for i may not have it but my friend has it or my friend's friend has it mm-hmm. why should i deny you that opportunity i'm trying to look for funding for my company my startup and you know an investor who has been looking for a startup to invest in that particular industry mm-hmm. mbona usini connect but africans are like hakuna kitu una lose mm-hmm. it is just that call Oh, by the way i have a friend who is in this 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 i would like to do an introduction ongeni yeah, ongeni that is how we can grow because africa kusema ukweli we have so many challenges but most of the solutions still lies within it's all about working together putting personal regional and enterprise um differences aside and you say africa is ours our problems are our, are our own and you have to find solutions for our own problems that way we will be able to emerge as the leading economy in the whole world in less than 50 to 100 years mm-hmm. yeah yeah very true because we have a young the youngest population exactly so when you think of the labor force yes you have such potential that has to be unlocked and we are very educated we are extremely educated Africans are smart innovative mention it everything yeah but you know the problem is africa waits yeah when i get tunangoja ama tunasema mtu anasema let me go to the united states yeah. to put opportunities huko ama tungoja wale wazilete huko exactly so we need to stop waiting and start taking action yeah. and be your brother's keeper vile unasema exactly. julia mtu julia yeah, mtu hali kama best yako hujamsikia sikia msake mm. anaweza kuwa yuko kwa wapi yeah mm. by the watu wao wanakufa na haujui unaenda hey. kuuliza msee by the way aliendanga wapi alienda na alikufia kwa hao imagine hey. so so we, we need to check on each other mtu akikwambia kwa na shida kama unaweza saidia saidia kama huwezi na unajua mtu anaweza saidia ongea na yeye yeah because that is the only way we will be able to grow the people yeah. yeah pandemics come and go even this one will go and they're supposed to leave us stronger stronger than we were before yeah and yeah. in every pandemic the people who are lucky enough to be caught into the pandemic mm. normally become a rising generation exactly when i get kuna kuanga na economic boom always after a pandemic because people have refreshed the way they think True. yeah old ways in atolewa people adapt to new, new ways yeah. mm. now that newness freshness creative element and innovation just changes yeah. the world yeah they, they are no mm. experts of fighting a pandemic z z so new experts are going to emerge on different things yeah. so yeah. we are actually standing on the golden age exactly. if only we can look at it that way yeah. that everyone now is on flat line yeah. reset the clock the let's thing. start again hakuna mtu yuko mbele ya mwingine we are all eh. we just need to think and the yeah. good thing about thinking is free 
Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Nisare, nisare. <laughs> na ecosystem yenye tuko nayo is sufficient. Yeah, exactly. If only we can stop complaining and now start counting our blessings. Yes. Because you can look at all the things that are not working and you will die. But if you start yeah. looking at the things that are working, then all of a sudden you have something to be grateful for. Exactly. All of a sudden unaanza kuona ah by then kat ko sawa. We thought we would die yeah. but 7 months later ni kama atukufi. Yeah. You know it's all about the power of suggestion. Yeah. If you wake up in the morning and say this is going to be a boring day. Mm. By then I feel nikiwa msik. Eh, hivyo hivyo. You it will be boring, nothing will work. Yeah. But if you wake up and you're like I'm feeling energetic, this day I will get clients. This day things will work mm. and I have no time to be sick today. Yes. That day will be powerful. Eh, I'm going out there with expectation. Exactly. Yeah. So what you tell your mind it manifests. Yes. yes. So if we can teach ourselves to tell ourselves good things. Yeah. I know sometimes mtu anamkanga akiwa boring or hana any inspiration. Yeah. And a YouTube. Mm. Download these clips, put them. Hata yeah. kama ni podcast iweke hapo. Yeah. Ukiamka tu asubuhi put it there fill your cup yeah mm. listen to that sermon that motivational video or that song that uplifts you i was telling somebody yesterday mm. any time you feel boring you you feel bored or yeah. you're feeling tired or anything you should have the things that uplift you maybe it is a sermon mm. a video inspiration a podcast mm. um a, a song ziweke yeah. zikifuatana it uplifts you as well time unamaliza We yeah. change kabisa yeah. so true yeah cuz the the uh, as the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing yeah ukisikia yeah. death ndio hivyo you, you have, have bad faith. faith yeah ukisikia life you have good faith yeah very nice this yeah. conversation i hear zisha tutaendelea tu baadaye so to introduce then tumaliza na kuji piga intro mm. eh. so um kwa jina eh. um kimani patrick I work with an organization called Invask Magazine. Invask by the name not. Invask is investment and entrepreneurship solutions in Kenya back then. See. So, um I combined them with Co Invask. Co Invask is just a name by itself because you don't want to just deal with Kenya. We want to we want to be the gateway for investment in Africa. And that is like a Forbes. Yes, exactly. The format is Forbes. Yes. Mm. So we want to be the ultimate resource for entrepreneurs in Africa the ultimate resource for investment in Africa we are growing inch by inch but anyone who wants to start build and scale their businesses mm-hmm. in Africa or any other part of the world invask is the place that's what you're building it to be very nice so very i work nice. with invask recently i launched a content marketing agency called calstick um, a subsidiary of yes actually market. um invask i had registered invask group limited So it's what mm. I rebranded to the Calstick Group Limited. Ah. So Invask is now oh, a product a of Calstick. Oh, yes. See. It's actually a product. Now we made it just as a product. So Calstick is the one which is a subsidiary of the Calstick Group. Ah. So Calstick the Calstick Group does not have does not offer any services. Yes, but, but now Calstick, yes, it's a holding now for many other things we want to do because we also want to venture into e-commerce marketplace. We want to venture into you know co-working hubs we want to invest into trainings and all that but kidogo kidogo very nice yeah, yeah. it's encouraging Thank to you. see an entrepreneur in africa looking at things positively because as they say if you say you can or you can't either way you're right you're right true. yeah yeah nje nje tu utajiambia wewe utasema hivyo ndio kuko itakuwa so so we are very grateful so my name is SK and this is Uh, Gold Avenue Africa the institution that I run uh, we are grateful to do this particular show called uh, Clean Money Podcast brought to you by wow. Clean Money TV so moral moral <laughs> <laughs>